Good morning and welcome. Bienvenidos. Buenos días. Mi nombre es Castul Estrada. Soy miembro de la mesa directiva del, del, del Distrito de Agua del Valle de Coachella. Aquí estoy con Jesús González, miembro de la mesa directiva del Distrito Escolar. My name is Castul Estrada. I'm the Vice President of the Coachella Valley Water District. And here with me is Jesús González, Board Member of the Coachella Valley Unified School District. We're excited to be out here outside Westside Elementary School. Where we started a project uh, to connect the school to our public water system. The school here has been uh, relying on its own private well for over 50 years, and we're excited that uh, we're finally making this connection between the school and our water supply. With this connection, the school is gonna uh, be able to be provided water for over 500 students and faculty, and we're very happy to be doing that uh, today. Out here we have Jones Brothers, who's working right now on, the, on an irrigation lateral to make way for the connection. Estamos aquí afuera de la escuela de la West Side, donde estamos trabajando en un proyecto para instalar una pipa de agua para la escuela. Es un proyecto que, que hemos estado trabajando por más de tres años. Estamos muy agradecidos y contentos de que estamos trabajando en el proyecto. Eh, ahorita está trabajando aquí Jones Brothers, donde están haciendo campo para la conexión. Y con eso este, voy a dejar a Jesús González que diga unas palabras. Gracias. Antes de comenzar, eh, nos acaban de notificar que, que los estudiantes nos están viendo ahorita live. Aquí está con nosotros el... el El, el, el director de la escuela, Dr. Steele, y saludos a todos los alumnos, a las familias. Thank you, children. I, I understand you're watching. Mr. Steele's with us here today. Thank you for what you do, and we're going to try to do the best we can to make sure you have what you need. But uh, thank you, Dr. Steele, for letting the children know, and, and thank you for being here with us. Uh, Castulo, I, I want to thank you for your work. Uh, uh, this is a project where uh, we lost the funding. Uh, it became very complicated. And through the work of Mr. Estrada, uh, uh, me having a little bit to do with it, uh, the work of our assemblymen, we're able to recover the resources. And as you can see, we're actually under construction. So it's an exciting time. This is a project that's going to bring good, safe drinking water to the children of Westside, to our staff, uh, to our community. And it's just an example of what can be done when we work together. And it's just exciting uh, to always work with you. You've your flagship since you've been on the school uh, on the water district board as vice president has been to champion the east side of the valley uh, unfortunately the east side of the valley where we need the most often than not more often than not we receive the least but when we have these kinds of victories it shows that it's possible it shows that we can achieve if we work together and we're just excited because at the end of the day the community wins our children win and I'm just excited to be part of it as a member of the CVUSD uh, school district. Uh, yo, Casulo, gracias uh, por lo que haces. Yo pienso que tu tiempo como vicepresidente del Distrito de Agua ha mostrado de que este tipo de proyecto en comunidades que menos tienen eh, es, ha sido lo que tú, uh, uh, lo que es importante para ti, Casulo. Yo pienso que la gente uh, es un gran beneficio a los estudiantes tener agua portable uh, por muchos años, más de 50 años, como comentaste. Uh, esta escuela no, no he tenido agua portable uh, con la calidad necesaria pa, de la mejor agua. Y, y, y este proyecto va a realizar esa posibilidad. Yo pienso que es, la, es un ejemplo de lo que has logrado. Para mí es un gran orgullo trabajar contigo en este proyecto, en otros proyectos, y también el trabajo y el esfuerzo del, del asambleísta uh, Eduardo García. Gracias por lo que él hace. Yo pienso que esto es posible porque todos nos, nos juntamos y, y, y entre esa energía logró esta posibilidad. Y como le digo, que, que sea esto una muestra de lo, de lo que se puede lograr. Gracias a la comunidad por lo que hacen. Y aquí estamos para hacer lo que nosotros Eh, debemos de ser y, y vamos a seguir dándole ganas y, y gracias a, a, a todos, Mr. Steele, gracias, gracias a CBWD, a la, a la gente que está logrando este video, gracias a, a toda la comunidad. Con eso, Azulo. Yeah, and with that, you know, I just want to thank all of you for joining us today as we uh, celebrate the groundbreaking of this project. And uh, we're going to roll out a, a nice little video here that we put together where uh, we have some folks from the state, our local legislator, uh, giving some thoughts about what they think about this project. Again, this project uh, took a lot of effort from a lot of different folks, a lot of different agencies, and uh, we want to uh, give them an opportunity to share their thoughts about this, this project. Thank you.
Hello, I'm Castro Estrada, Vice President of the Board of Directors at Coachella Valley Water District. Thank you for joining us for this virtual groundbreaking ceremony. We are pleased to bring clean and safe drinking water and reliable fire protection to Westside Elementary School and Thermal through this pipeline installation. Until now, this school has been relying on a private well for water service. The well can be unreliable, leading to many challenges for the students and faculty. This project connects Westside to CBWD's public water system through an off-site 1,350-foot pipeline that provides improved water supply reliability and fire flow. CBWD started working with the school to seek grant funding for this project in 2016. We were awarded a water system consolidation grant from the California State Water Resources Control Board as part of the Safe and Affordable Funding for Equity and Resiliency Drinking Water Program, where I sit on the advisory board. I'm very proud of our staff, very proud of the state, California, and the school district, and uh, the, the folks at Westside Elementary School for working with us to make sure that we're here breaking ground on this wonderful project, a project that is gonna bring a lot of benefit to the 500 plus students and staff at, uh, at this school. Um, we know that a lot of these kids uh, live around the area, an area that's rural, uh, full of agriculture, and a lot of times uh, when they go back to their own homes, uh, they also don't have access to, to a reliable source of drinking water. So uh, making sure that uh, the school has uh, this uh, source of drinking water uh, with proper fire protection and, 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 a, and a well and a water that meets the standards, it's a, it's a great thing for everybody uh, at the school. Well, per, for me personally, I, I grew up in the eastern Coachella Valley. I grew up in communities like Thermal. I grew up in Oasis. Uh, I went to a school on Avenue 76 um, where I lived, uh, had uh, unreliable water supply. And when I see these kids, they remind me of myself. They remind me of the people that I grew up with. And I'm, I'm here and I think the folks that we work with, with are here to to try to uh, create an opportunity for for the for the younger generation that's going to become the future of this valley, and it's you know that's that's what we're doing and and that's what we're going to continue to do. Here's a message from Westside Elementary School principal Dr. Timothy Steele. Westside Elementary School is located in the heart of agriculture farmland, located here in the Coachella Valley. My name is Dr. Tim Steele, and I am the proud principal of Westside Elementary School. Although Westside Elementary School is 55 years old, it's a vibrant part of our active community. We are the only school in our district that uses well water as its only source of water. On any given day, there's over 500 students and staff that depend on this water to sustain their lives. In the past, our school has been highlighted in the news due to hazardous metal found in our water. When the state of California changed its regulations about the acceptable amount of chromium in water, we found out that we were in trouble. From this concern, a relationship developed between the Coachella Valley Water District and the Coachella Valley Unified School District and our school, Westside. We came together because we both universally believe that children come first and our universal belief that everyone deserves healthy water. Water doesn't only sustain our life today, but helps us to grow our bodies and our minds so we can have the best life possible tomorrow. So today's groundbreaking to me is about a group coming together to saying that we don't give up on children and we don't give up on each other. Coming together as a community for the betterment of all. Here are messages from Coachella Valley Unified School District. I believe the question of drinking water is something that we might take for granted in this country. We, we are in the most developed country in the world and yet when we wake up things like this catch us by surprise. As a current school board member and chairman of the facilities committee, I've been part of a, a very powerful group of people too that have taken on the challenge of trying to bring uh, safe drinking water to uh, specifically Westside School, a school located in the east end of the valley, a, a, a school that's located within a mile of where I live. And it, it's really an exciting proposition to see a project that was on the verge of not being funded or actually uh, not realizing funding from the state to, to see the project be put back on, on track and, and, and to be days away from groundbreaking is a really good feeling and it always feels good as a public servant to be part of such an important project that really makes a difference for the children, for our parents, for the community and just creating a possibility that may have not otherwise been there.
Hello, my name is Silvia Paz and I'm the current board president for Coachella Valley Unified School District. On behalf of the board, I want to welcome you to this virtual groundbreaking ceremony. Here at Westside, we are very happy to be able to connect to a reliable source of drinking water for our students, our staff, and our families. I want to thank everybody who has been able to make this happen. Here's a message from the State Water Resources Control Board. Hi everyone, my name is Joaquin Escabel and I'm chair of the State Water Resources Control Board. I want to thank the leadership at Westside Elementary School, the Coachella Valley Water District, and the Coachella Valley Unified School District for inviting me here today to join you all in this virtual groundbreaking to celebrate what is a really incredible and critical project. The State Water Board and its nine regional water quality control boards preserve and enhance the water quality in our rivers, bays, lakes, streams, and estuaries throughout the state. Additionally, the State Board administers water rights and drinking water regulation. You may or may not know, but the state of California is actually the first state in the nation to have what is known as the human right to water. Simply, enshrined in law is a concept that every Californian should have access to clean, safe, and affordable water for the purposes of drinking, cooking, bathing, and sanitation. Really simple, but incredibly complex in how we implement it, and often quite difficult when we talk about the local level and in communities. And that's where partnerships and leadership at the school, at the district, and at the water district critically as well, have allowed for this consolidation to happen where before there wasn't access to clean and safe water for our most vulnerable population, our students, our, our, our children, and our communities, now there is. And it wouldn't be there but for the leadership of local entities. The State Board in its funding capacity is all too happy to provide dollars for this critical project and in its regulatory capacity, provide the certainty and incentives to ensure that we continue to see communities that don't have access to clean and safe drinking water begin to receive it. And there, I just want to give further acknowledgement and, and nod to the leadership of the Coachella Valley Water District, who I know has other consolidation projects throughout the Coachella, Eastern Coachella Valley. So thank you so much. Thank you for all of your leadership and look forward to the continued partnership and continuing to fulfill what we know as the human right to water. Thanks all. Here's a message from Assemblymember Eduardo Garcia. Hello everyone, it's Assemblymember Eduardo Garcia representing California's 56th Assembly District and wanted to just say hello and congratulate everyone involved in making this project at Westside Elementary School a success. I know it wasn't easy working through a number of different agencies and of course all of the bureaucracy that exists, but uh, I think this is a perfect project that demonstrates that working together, uh, communicating well, uh, that we can get things done between the state, our local water agencies, and of course our community. Uh, so a lot of congratulations to the board at the Valley Water District, the Disadvantaged Communities uh, Committee, that is made up of many community organizations, of course, the Coachella Valley Unified School District. And uh, I just wanna say that it was a pleasure being able to work with all of you. Congratulations, the winners here are the students, the teachers, the families at Westside Elementary School, and many, many more communities that will be able to hook up to the system and have safe, clean drinking water uh, for the years to come. Again, thank you so much for the opportunity to say a few words, take care. Here's a message from Supervisor Manuel Perez. Hello everyone, this is Supervisor Victor Manuel Perez representing the 4th District. And on behalf of the Riverside County Board of Supervisors, I want to commend and congratulate all the collaborators that came together to ensure that finally, after so many years, uh, the East End, specifically Westside Elementary School, uh, finally has their own water infrastructure. I uh, really appreciate the collaborators like Cochaba Water District, especially Castro Lostrada and the Board of Directors. I want to thank as well Assembly Member Eduardo Garcia and his staff, the State Water Resources Control Board for the funding, Coachella Unified School District for their efforts, and my staff, uh, Syra Hernandez and others, and as well Juan Perez from TLMA, Transportation Land Management Agency. Uh, I really appreciate the fact that we were efficient as a county and trying to ensure the planning and permitting ran smoothly. And as well as a policymaker, it is important that we do everything possible to bring justice closer to our communities on a daily basis. And that also means policy, and that also means services, 
That also means programs, and that also means resources. And with that said, uh, collaborating with the nonprofit organizations on the ground, appreciate your efforts uh, as well. Equity is what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen, and that's what we were able to do after so many years of not having water infrastructure for our kids, our staff, our teachers at Westside Elementary School. We finally have water infrastructure, we finally have sewers, and we'll finally have fire protection. Thank you so much, everyone. Adelante. Here's a message from Congressman Raul Ruiz. Hello, I'm Congressman Raul Ruiz, and I'm so excited that Westside Elementary School is breaking ground on its water system upgrade project. Westside Elementary School currently relies on an on-site well for water and has no backup water system if the well were to fail. Plus, the current water system lacks fire protection for the campus. So thanks to the successful collaboration between the Disadvantaged Community Infrastructure Task Force and Westside Elementary, the school will now have a reliable water source and fire protection for the students, faculty, and entire campus. I want to specifically thank CVWD Board of Directors and the CVWD staff, Assemblyman Eduardo Garcia, State Water Resources Control Board, as well as the staff and Coachella Valley Unified School District for your hard work to make this groundbreaking possible. Our students should be focused on learning and reaching their full potential free from worry about whether they have clean drinking water or adequate fire protections. So I look forward to seeing the impact this project will have on the lives of the students, uh, the faculty, and the community of Westside Elementary. It feels amazing to be finally here after two, three years of working uh, across various institutions to ensure that this project is finally breaking ground. Uh, I feel happy. I feel proud I, I, I want to do more of them and, and I think we have a lot more to do and, and I'm ready and I think we're all ready we've learned a lot from this project to uh, make sure that we do them faster we do them better and uh, and we just keep bringing more and more opportunity together working with the assembly member with the school district and anybody else who's willing to help us out um, just create more opportunity for the folks in the Eastern Coachella Valley. I'd like to especially thank Coachella Valley Water District Board of Directors and staff the staff and students of Westside Elementary School, the Coachella Valley Unified School District Board and staff, the State Water Resources Control Board and staff, Assemblymember Eduardo Garcia, Supervisor Manuel Perez, Congressman Raul Ruiz, and members of the CBWD Disadvantaged Communities Infrastructure Task Force, which continues to work to find funding to bring affordable drinking water and wastewater and flood control services to more disadvantaged communities in the Eastern Coachella Valley. Again, thank you for joining us on this beautiful morning as we celebrated the groundbreaking of this project. I want to thank everybody that's been involved in making sure that this project was possible. I want to thank Mr. Jesus Gonzalez for his participation. I want to thank the SAFER program for providing the funding. This is an exciting project. We have a lot more projects like these and we're going to keep working to make sure that we roll out those projects as soon as we can. Uh, but this is an exciting time and again, I want to thank all of you. I'm very proud of the work uh, at the Coachella Valley Water District and staff, I, I, they've been doing an amazing job and we have a lot more projects like these. We have a lot of work to do and we're going to keep doing it. And with that, I want to thank you again for joining us as we celebrated this amazing project. And with that, Mr. Jesus Gonzalez. Well, Casulo, gracias. Uh, gracias a Casulo Estrada. Gracias por lo que haces. Uh, gracias por lo que representas. Uh, y yo pienso que por tu esfuerzo. Hemos logrado este proyecto, es una muestra de lo que se puede hacer gracias al pueblo. Y, y yo pienso que el pueblo reconoce el trabajo que, que, que se ha logrado y la realidad que nuestra comunidad gana. Uh, los niños ganan uh, y, y, y es, es, yo pienso que es el derecho que merecen y vamos a seguir luchando, vamos a seguir trabajando. Casulo, de nuevo, gracias por lo que has hecho. Yo pienso que... Eh, por tu energía, con tus ganas, logramos lo que hemos logrado hoy. Gracias.